Hello everyone, welcome to Thyros Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Tailwind CSS version 2.2 is the latest as of recording this video. It has a ton of new amazing features and so many utility classes added and it has the just-in-time mode. To know more about this, you can really read the documentation. It has these many new features and so much more. It's still in preview mode but you can enable it in your projects and it mostly works great. So here this video I will be showing you how to install Tailwind CSS as a post CSS plugin. So you don't need any other frameworks like Vue or Laravel or React, nothing, just a plain project with a with post CSS and even if you don't know anything about post CSS, don't worry, this video will guide you through the whole thing. You will be installing Tailwind CSS as a post CSS plugin and also be enabling the GIT mode and you will learn how to watch files while developing and also optimize it for production. So this is a complete scratch to production video. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by Showcase, a social network built and optimized for developers and coders. Devs can connect to like-minded individuals and showcase their projects. You can share blogs, videos, projects, code snippets, and short messages. If you are a content creator, you can choose to put your content behind a paywall. Whether you write daily tech articles, share career advice, or make tutorials about certain frameworks, you can make some money through paid subscribers. Join me and thousands of developers on Showcase today. In my terminal, let me go to desktop and create a new folder. So this is my new project. And let me call it Tailwind Latest and CD into Tailwind Latest. Let me open this project in VS Code. Yes, here it is. Let me open the terminal within VS Code using the Command J option on Mac. On Windows, it might be different. So here, the first thing I will do is install Tailwind CSS. Now, the way I do it is using NPM. If you already know about NPM, great. But if you don't, it's short for Node Package Manager. And since Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, all of these are packages, you need this package manager installed. So in case you don't have NPM, you can go to node.js.org. You can install it from here. I am on Mac, so this is what it shows me, but if you're on Windows, it'll show you a Windows installer or Linux or anything. Make sure you follow the procedure, install NPM, and once you have it, just cross check if you really have it. So just do NPM-V, and if you see a number, this is the version and it's installed. Great. So now let me initialize this project with NPM. NPM init-y with all the default options. This will generate a package.json file. Don't worry about this much right now. And now let's install Tailwind CSS and all the other dependencies required. So say npm install, and I want to install all of these as dev dependencies. Again, don't worry much about it. It just means that these dependencies are required for development only. So that can be done with a dash capital D option. Then say Tailwind CSS. You could just say Tailwind CSS or use at latest. So this fetches you the latest version. And then something called as auto prefixer. Tailwind CSS depends on this. So auto prefixer, latest, and then post CSS dash CLI, the latest version as well. This will take a few minutes. Once this is done, you should be able to see that these three that we just installed have been added as dev dependencies. You should also see a node modules folder. Great. Now that we have this, let's create our index.html. So create a new folder. You can either call it public, layouts, or whatever you wish. Within this, let me create my index.html file. And let me just do some basic stuff here. Add a h1 tag, say hello, Tailwind CSS. Let me add the classes later. Now let's link this to a style sheet. 
let's call it styles.css this is not created yet so let's create it here now we will not be editing this file on our own the styles here will be generated by tailwind css so let me close this up right now and here in our root folder let's create a source style sheet okay so if you want to add some custom css you will need this let's call it tailwind.css and here you need to add some tailwind directives tailwind base at tailwind components and at tailwind utilities you can read more about this in the documentation again i'm not going to go into details because i want to rush into installation and setting it up so once this is done you can close this as well and now to enable git mode we need the configuration file of tailwind css to generate that you can actually create a new file call it tailwind.config.js but we can do that using a command that is npx tailwind css in it so when you do that it generates a config file for you with all the default options necessary but here since we are installing tailwind as a post css plugin we also need to generate the post css config file so we can do that in the same command with just a dash p option additionally so when you do this you get both the config files generated at once let me open this post css config file right now we're not going to edit this it's using tailwind css and auto prefixer as the plugins so let's close this also let me open tailwind.config.js now here the most important thing to do is add a mode JIT. Now, this is what will help you enable the JIT mode. Since it's in preview, it's not yet added in the core of Tailwind, but in the version 3 plus, they might add it into the core. So, this will be the default mode once it's done. Now, once you add the JIT mode, what it does is Tailwind uses only the classes that you have used in your HTML file and generates styles only for those classes but for that to happen tailwind needs to know where all you have included the utility classes so in you might have multiple folders here multiple html files or if you're using any other framework you might have uh, like you know php files like blade.php or so many other uh, file extensions that's why here in the purge option you need to tell tailwind css where all have you used the utility classes in this project it's quite simple it's in our public folder right we have all our html files within our public folder which is in the root so dot slash public slash star star that is it can have any number of folders nested slash star dot html right so this sets the part for us and we don't need to edit anything else in the tailwind config file for now now is the time we need to start building our style sheet right as we saw this is empty we need some styles here so here let's add some tailwind classes so let's say font bold text 4xl text center Maybe use some padding and then text purple 600. Okay, so nothing happens. We have just added these classes, but we need to use Tailwind to convert these into the styles that can actually be used. For that, let's go into our package.json file and add some scripts. The first one would be a build script. And the second one would be a production script so prod right so within the build script i'm gonna say use post css and build the source file tailwind.css output it to the public directory styles.css okay and this is not sufficient we want to watch the files as we make changes to the html so this is 
what happens is as you start adding new classes and saving your file automatically the styles.css starts getting built so you don't have to keep building it over and over again that's why we have something called as the dash w option it could also be dash dash watch so the short form is dash w and then i also want us to really know what is happening so i just say verbose but this is optional i just want to show you that it's generating the style sheet and then sometimes this doesn't work so you might want to add a tailwind mode sorry tailwind mode equals watch so once you add this for sure it's going to watch your files and generate styles for you on the go and now in production let's add a node env equals production so that's just an environment variable that we are setting saying that it's production all of this will be the same these uh post css until styles.css copy sorry copy and paste this and this will be our prod script okay if none of this is making sense for you just don't worry copy this and it should really work for you okay now let's just open our styles.css in another tab here close everything else and let's see what happens i will say npm run build so here it shows you a warning that you have enabled jit which is currently in preview and it says it finished tailwind css in 642 milliseconds and yes we do have some styles let's see what we have here right so we have all the base styles that's required so uh, tailwind adds a set of a lot of set of classes to your plain project you can check you can search in the documentation for something called as pre-flight so you will understand what that is so all that comes until here and now we have all these classes right here with their styles padding text center and so on so suppose i change this purple to pink and save it you will see some lines here it says processing finished and again waiting for file changes and of course we have our pink styles also added yes you will notice that the purple has not been removed that's because just in case you plan to change it back to purple it should not take a few extra seconds for tailwind to build that or extra milliseconds maybe but if you really want all of this to go you can stop the script and then build again so once you do that purple is gone okay that's how it happens so whenever you keep adding any new classes here this will automatically update so this is all you need for developing it let's also open this in live server and make sure that it's working so this opens in the browser yes we have this uh, text for excel and text pink and in the center so obviously tailwind css has been installed now actually as such the styles.css is very small it's probably just about 14 or 17 kb not even that much i believe but in case you want to also minify this we can use css nano package additionally and configure it in such a way that for the production build we get a minified style sheet how do we do that let me stop this currently and install npm install again with the dash d option css nano once this is done open up your postcss config.js and here you can add css nano additionally okay so what this does is unfortunately if you just add a line like this even during development your uh, style sheet will be minified if that's okay for you then you know it's not a problem but sometimes you might want to actually look into your style sheet in case you want to inspect something and it will be very hard if it's minified right so that's why in post css there's an option to use uh, you know a pass of pass an arrow function here even i don't know much about this but i just know that something like this works so you just pass a context here and use a function like this 
okay and here you can use that context check if context dot env equals production so only during production if this is true then pass this empty uh, object else sorry else false okay so this is using the ternary operator and this should work let's see now instead of saying npm run build we say npm run prod that runs our production script let's hit enter and there we go the styles the style sheet has been minified let's again verify if this is working so go back to the browser refresh if required and yes it is working you can view page source and go to styles yes we have the minified version great so this is how you install tailwind css enable jit mode and minify your css for production optimize it but this was quite a long process it took us almost eight to ten minutes to do something like this and if you're and you might run into multiple issues which is why i have a repository ready for you on github this link is in the description below so this is a boilerplate for what we did just now now what you need to do is simply clone this repository and just say npm install and the same set of files that you have here everything exactly as it is will be in your project okay it just takes probably a minute to do that so simply use this project as a starting point if you want tailwind css latest version as opposed to css plugin all right do share it ahead if you found this useful thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from tyrus